Hello folks, this is the WC. As the NBA playoffs continue here on YouTube, as the Chicago Bulls take on the Boston Celtics. Yes folks, NBA playoffs. Now, let me go ahead and, and just get this out the way. Isaiah Thomas is small, but he is one of the most talented guards in the league. We need to start putting Isaiah Thomas in the James Harden conversation in the Russell Westbrook conversation, you don't laugh at me, all right? In the Chris Paul conversation, this guy is the real deal. And he has led this team to the number one seed in the Eastern Conference, whether it's, you know, believable or not. And Boston has had their injuries this year. I mean, they've had, you know, Horford has been out for a while. Crowder has been out for a while. You know, um, Avery Bradley didn't come back until at least halfway through the season, to my knowledge. And even Isaiah Thomas has gone through a few injuries himself, but he's been able to play through them, to my knowledge, my inside knowledge of it. Then you got Chicago. You know, they, they signed Wade um, over the offseason. They bring in Rondo. I'm looking at this and saying Wade and Rondo and Jimmy Butler, that's going to be dynamic. And it really hasn't come to fruition because – you know, Jimmy Butler's been hurt this year. Wade just recently returned. Rondo has had his troubles with, you know, just everybody and the coaches because he has this humongous ego. Um, you know, and, and this, you know, is rather it's that or it's injuries, the Bulls have suffered this year. You know, Miritich has been injured. Seems like everybody from the Bulls, Bulls uh, ball, squad, ball squad has been injured at some time and point during the season. Let's just be honest about it. But they were able to outlast the Heat, who have had their injuries as well, and squeaked it to the playoffs. So here they are. And the 8th seed this year is probably one of the most dangerous in ever, as ever in the Eastern Conference. So I think that they match up very, very well with the Celtics. All right. The key matchup that I want everybody to focus on in this series, all right, is Avery Bradley versus Jimmy Butler. Okay. Or Dwayne Wade. Whoever's playing, whoever's checking Avery Bradley, whoever Avery Bradley's checking. I'm just going to assume that that's what it is. Um, Avery Bradley and Jimmy Butler mirror each other so much. Avery Bradley is more of a pure shooter than Jimmy Butler is, but Jimmy Butler can fill up the stat sheet. Um, you know, Jimmy Butler, this team, as the Bulls team goes, you know, Jimmy Butler goes. As, as Jimmy Butler goes, the team goes. And then you have a guy like Meritish that kind of comes in and, you know, is is the sidekick. But this is the key matchup. Whoever gets the better of this matchup, you can expect them to, you know, to win this series. Like, I don't think that people understand how close this series is probably going to be. And it shouldn't be because Boston is, you know, uh, a more complete team from A to Z. But when you look at Chicago, Chicago's not that much far off from where Boston is. I mean, the stats say that, that that they are, but when you look at it from a basketball standpoint, it's not that far apart, okay? As far as, like, benches go, you know, Boston's got a solid bench with Olenek and, you know, Amir Johnson, he might be coming in off the bench for the playoffs and everything. They've got a solid bench, but when you look at their bench, do they scare you? I mean, even as the number one seed, does their bench scare you? Marcus Smart, I think he does scare me. You know what I'm saying? There's a couple guys on that bench that can fill up the stat sheet, but can they do it long enough to get past the Cavaliers or the Wizards or any of the other teams in the East? We'll see, but I'm just speculating early for all the people to kind of put it in their brain how the later videos will probably go. And then you look at the Bulls. they got some young pieces in Valentine. I've already brought up um, – I have already brought, I, don't, I don't think I brought up Portis yet. Who's a very good young player? They got Zipster. Um, I haven't brought up Ryan Lopez. Oh no, not Ryan Lopez, but Robin Lopez. My uh, my mistake. Um, he should match up well with Al Horford down low. That's going to be an interesting matchup. Um, overall, I think that the Celtics shouldn't struggle with the Bulls, but I wouldn't be surprised if this series went seven. All right, so I think that Jimmy Butler, you know, is capable of taking this team on his back all right I've seen it countless times during the regular season it translates into the playoffs watch out for Miritich he's the wild card in this series 
But I fully expect for Boston to be able to walk away with this series, maybe in seven games, maybe in six games. If I had to put down a bet, I would say seven. So let me know how you guys feel about this first round series between the Chicago Bulls and the Boston Celtics. This is the NBA playoffs here on YouTube. Can y'all feel it? I can feel it. It's definitely in the air. And until next time, folks, peace out.